Hey everybody, Rai here, and welcome to another channel update where I let you guys in on what's been going on. This is going to be pretty brief in terms of, you know, giving you a synopsis because not much has been done in the past week or two, which is depressing to say, but I do want to share with you guys an epiphany that I had. You know, in terms of where I want to take the channel, in terms of uploading, in terms of how I, you know, compose myself, how I approach projects in general. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, so why don't we begin with what I've been up to. So there's only been two projects that have been updated since the last channel update, and that is Tales of Graces and that is Outlast. Starting with Tales of Graces, obviously enough, I don't need to share with you guys this again, but I'm really into the game, I'm really getting into the plotline, the characters, the story, you know, everything about it really. I've just been really enjoying it and I'm getting to a point where I think some really crazy shit's going to go down. You know, we've had a few plot twists lately and I can't wait to see what else the game has in store. This is going to be an ongoing project until completion. I am not giving up on it. It's just really, really fun. And after that, I've also uploaded two videos of the horror game called Outlast. And Outlast is a very interesting title. It's very atmospheric. From what I've heard, it's short. So, you would think that being a short title, that would be a bit of a disappointment. But I think what this game makes up for in possibly being short is the fact that there is a lot to the game that really makes you shit your pants. And I've only gotten to about the 30 minute mark, past the what is the quote unquote tutorial level, and I'm terrified. I am honest to god terrified. I've actually haven't been able to record part 3 because I've been so scared to get back into the game. Because me and jump scares, we don't work so well. You saw in part 2 there was this one segment where there was this ha partially open door and I swing it open and then a freaking corpse comes flying down from the wall. I screamed like a girl, so I don't really handle it that well. It's entertaining for sure. I know you guys love it and I kind of like the adrenal adrenaline rush too, but at the same time I get very freaked out and coming from somebody who used to have a very big issue with paranoia, it's not that easy for me to overcome, you know, my hesitations and apprehension to throw myself into this sort of atmosphere, this sort of really creepy, terrifying atmosphere and setting. But I am going to try, I, you know, I need to put on my big boy pants and just push push through it no matter how scared I might be. From what, uh, from what I've, uh, God, I'm stumbling over my words. From a discussion I had with a friend of mine, there's a key difference between being afraid and being scared. You know, it's okay to be scared, that's a natural thing, but fear is going to hinder you if you let it overcome you. And I have no reason, reason to be afraid of this game. It's a game, that's exactly what it is. It's pixels and zeros and ones, so I don't know why I'm freaking, uh, freaking out so much. Well, I do know why I'm freaking out so much, but I shouldn't be freaking out to the point of where I am too terrified to record the game. I'm going to grow some gonads, and I'm going to jump back in, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So, there's a lot of things that I can say in terms of what's coming up, and I actually want to start by declaring why I'm going to be approaching the channel the way that I am. As you guys know, I've had a lot of issues both in my personal life and physically. You know, my hands have not been up to snuff for pretty much a year. I've done a lot of things like wore therapeutic gloves. Um, I've gone in, got like um, a lot of testing done. And ultimately we've come to two conclusions as to what it can be. And I won't go into like elaborate details or anything, but basically I'm on a bunch of medication right now to hopefully bring my hands back to the way they used to be. So, fingers crossed for me there. Combined with that, I've also been under a lot of stress from the lack of a job, the lack of college, you know. I'm really trying my hardest here, but the world can be very difficult, can be very tough, and, you know, it's 
I might be crumbling a little bit under the pressure, so that might be a big factor as to why I haven't done as much as I've wanted to lately, because I've been so overwhelmed, which actually leads into the next part really well. I do, I do too much. Just plain and simple, I do too much at one time. You know, I, I got into this thinking I want to do as much as I can because if I do just one or two projects at a time, you know, I'm never going to get to all these other ideas that I have, you know, all the dozen other playthroughs that I have welled up in my head that I want to do sometime for you guys. I've had it, I've had that impression for the longest time now, and what I've come to learn the hard way is as much as I want to do more at one time because I assume that I'm going to be able to show you guys a lot more, you know, it's a nice little special effect, but ultimately I get less done like that because I have to think, oh, I need to record some of this and then I need to record some of this, but I can't forget to record this for this day. If you get what I'm saying, I am juggling way too many balls in my hand and I'm going to fumble. I'm already starting to fumble because I haven't uploaded any Minecraft, any Cube World, any Game Dev Tycoon, any Outlast, any Heavy Rain. Well, I did upload some Outlast, but it's been a couple of days now. You, you guys can see where I'm getting at here. It's been... It's, it's been too much. Combined with the fact that my room has no AC that works. <coughs> I'm belching like a freaking imbecile on the camera, which is great. This room is equivalent to the size of a prison cell. My computer likes to overheat a lot. It's slow. And rendering a video takes four to five hours. Now, put this in perspective. Say I have two or three projects worth of videos ready to render. You know, I have some Heavy Rain, I have some Minecraft, and I have some Tales of Graces. And I have about like two or three videos worth for each of them. I would only be able to render at least like one or two videos a night. And nighttime is usually when I render videos because I don't want the computer rendering in the middle of the day because it slows down my computer to a snail's pace and there's a lot of stuff that I'm that I need to do, comments that I want to read and stuff. So, you guys can see my issue there. If I can only render one or two videos a night, I'm never going to get anywhere with five or six projects at a time. I, I would not even be able to schedule myself around that rendering time. So, yeah, it's kind of a hairy situation until I get a better computer. You know, the atmosphere is a very big deal. If I'm not comfortable with the atmosphere, if it's always humid in this room, if my computer is always chugging in order to render a video, if I'm go undergoing all these, like, stressful moments in my life, of course the quality is going to suffer, and by doing more things at once, the quality overall in every single video is going to suffer. So, I've decided to take a change, and this is a change that has been long overdue. I should have taken it a long time ago, like last year or back in 2011. It's it's just mind-blowing to me that I'd never, you know, bit the bullet and just, just agreed with my friend who suggested this to me back then, but I kind of blatantly ignored because I thought that it was a flawed idea, and it isn't. It's, I My logic was flawed back then. Sorry if I'm stumbling over my words here. Um, getting right to it, the mantra, less is more. That is what I'm going to be going off of, and the big changes you're going to see both manifest on the actual channel page as well as in what I upload. First off, Tales of Graces is going to be on hold for a little bit. Now, I know you guys are going to be kind of pissed off at me for this because I've had my share of hiatuses, my share of people who were pretty agitated over over the fact that, you know, oh, you're focusing so much on these projects that Tales of Graces is suffering. Oh, you haven't uploaded Tales in over two weeks. It's kind of ridiculous. And, you know, it is ridiculous, but please hear me out here. 
as as you guys know from what I've been saying in the past minute or two, doing too many projects at at once, especially with the computer, my computer, the way that it is, the way that the whole atmosphere is right now, it's just not going to fly. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the other shorter projects that I have, take them off the list, you know, finish off Game Dev Tycoon, finish off uh, Q World, finish off Outlast, and finish off Heavy Rain. If I can finish all these projects off and not replace them with anything else, all I have to focus on is Tales of Graces. And Minecraft, obvious, obviously, but we'll get to that in a second. So basically, the first big step is that I'm going to scale back and I'm going to knock out a few of the projects that I have going right now, and then focus primarily on one or two things at a time, not including Minecraft because it's such an open-ended open game. Now, over the coming week, you're going to see something different with my channel banner. It's actually going to be updated with a lot of words, a lot of information that I think will prove beneficial to you guys as the viewers to know what's coming up. Now, first off, you're going to see a section called Main Playthroughs main playthroughs on my banner. And this is essentially like what Tales of Graces is. This is going to be the project that I focus on primarily. It is going to be the video series that gets the most of my attention and what you should expect day after day, pretty much seven days a week. That is essentially what the main project is. And as of current, it is obviously enough going to be Tales of Graces. Once I have finished all these other little projects, that game is going to have my pretty much my full attention. So that's in one box, and you're going to see that it's going to have some sort of logo or some sort of thumbnail that represents Tale, Tales of Graces. And next to that is another box with a little in on top of it. And this box might have a question mark every now and then, which represents that I haven't have haven't have God, I can't speak English today. It means I haven't planned what the next project is going to be after Tales of Graces or whatever is the current project. But if it doesn't have a question mark and it does have a thumbnail within it, that's the playthrough you should expect next. And in this case, it's a game that I have not touched in a long time, which is long overdue for a completion and the word final to be at the end of the end of the series I am alive this is a game that I did started last year that I really enjoyed it's about 11 parts in and I'm pretty sure I'm at like the second to last or last level but then I suddenly stopped so I'm gonna pick it back up I'm gonna finish finish that playthrough because I don't want to leave so many stones unturned if you get what I'm, what I, what I'm getting at so I Am Alive is the next main playthrough that I focus on, and then you're going to see I Am Alive move to the current slot and a new game take place where it was before. So essentially what I'm doing is giving you guys a heads up on what's going to be the, the video series that is constantly uploaded onto my channel, and when a series is done, what to expect after it. So up, so up next is Modern Releases, which is exactly what it implies. It's games that come out within this year. You know, a game that hasn't come out yet that's going to be coming out soon. That's a main release, a modern title. And games that have come out within the past months to the past year, also I consider modern titles. Because that is a big niche to my channel. That is a main focal point. Covering the latest games, giving you guys, you know, very fresh footage and giving you guys an idea of what the game is all about. You know, while, <clears throat> while enjoying it for myself for what it is. So, for instance, the boxes are going to work exactly the same like the main playthrough section. There's going to be a current section, in this case Outlast, which, it came, which came out earlier this month. And then there is going to be a next box, which sometimes will have a question mark, sometimes it won't. And in this case, it will have the thumbnail of a game which has been highly anticipated on my part is a game that I've been looking forward to pretty much since E3 2012 and that is Beyond Two Souls that is going to be the next modern title that I focus on and I really hope you guys check in on it because I think it's going to be awesome it's going to be a journey and I want you guys to join me on that journey 
Minecraft is a given. It's not going anywhere. It's a casual game where me and my friends get together all the time, hang out, have fun. You know, it is the game that I really enjoy when I just want to sit back and relax and just chill with all of my closest friends and buddies, so... Custom maps, mods, I'm not going to have to treat Minecraft the same way that I do my full playthroughs and stuff where I give you guys a heads up on what's coming up. You know, obviously there's going to be a little bit of off-screen scheduling to make sure you guys get a couple of videos every week of, you know, like Let the Games Begin or other Minecraft series, but overall, I'm going to treat it very casually and hopefully you guys will enjoy the footage that's going to be coming soon because there's a lot of collaborative work in the future. Also, obviously, there's going to be weekly updates, weekly to bi-weekly updates, which is one to two weeks. Uh, just because I want to keep you guys in the know, I don't want you guys being in the dark. No matter how hard it is for me to really connect with a lens, you know, directly thrown right onto my face, I'm trying my best for you guys. And just stumbling over my words or not, you guys deserve to stay in the know at all times whenever possible in terms of the channel and what's coming up in it. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of a change. I'm scaling back from doing like five or six projects at a time to doing like one or two projects at a time with a few things on the side, you know. <clears throat> the channel trailer that I did pretty much emphasizes exactly what I'm going for besides burping. There's going to be full playthroughs of games that either myself or you guys are going to choose for me to play. There's going to be modern titles, which I'm going to be covering no matter what because I'm very much a modern gamer, if you want to put it that way. There's going to be Minecraft footage all the time. There's going to be random stuff, you know, just because... Just because I'm saying that I'm going to be focusing more on one or two things at a time doesn't mean there's not going to be little tidbits along the way. You know, Oregon Trail, uh, Zafe House Diaries, some Team Fortress 2 gameplay, Call of Duty gameplay, you know, multiplayer stuff. Things like that that are pretty short and I can accomplish in a couple hours time or just multiplayer games where I can just sit down for 10 or 20 minutes and just kick some ass with a friend. That sort of stuff I'm not going to schedule. That stuff is just going to come randomly as we go. So hopefully you guys can see where I'm trying to get at with this new update, with this new approach to my channel, and hopefully you guys will find it a lot better than what's going on right now. I do not want to keep you guys hanging any longer on projects, so I think this is going to alleviate a lot of that... Uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to alleviate a lot of the stress on my part and a lot of the frustrations on your part. So I'm Rai, hope you guys found this informative, and I will see you all very soon. Be ready for the new changes, and happy gaming.